Riveting content, empowering your life. Welcome to The Sphere. This episode is sponsored by True Digital Media Consulting. You're online right now and so are your customers, but marketing has to be a consistent journey. True Digital Media Consulting can help with your online ads, organic growth, and so much more. Contact us today at 832-934-4436 or visit our website at truedigitalmediaconsulting.com. Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, Dr. Ashandra Batiste understands that one of the biggest obstacles is dental fear. The vision at Elite Dental Wellness is to ensure every patient is treated with respect, ultimate care, patience, and love. Call us today to make an appointment at area code 713-789-8680. Looking to advertise? Join the Sphere's vast demographic reach of thousands of people all over the world. Send an email today to advertise at the sphere.tv or call us at area code 832-772-7789. You miss me. I miss y'all. Um, I was out last week due to work, and this week, um, because of my work trip, I'm feeling a little stuffy, so please bear with me. Um, as you all know, I'm Amethyst Black here at All Things Beauty. Now, today we have a fabulous, fabulous guest in store, so you make you want to make sure that you're seated and you're going to be paying attention for the next 15 or 20 minutes since we will be on Facebook Live on this platform. Y'all know how we do it here. Now, after the first 15 minutes, we're actually going to transition off and go to some of our other platforms. So if you have any questions for our hair guru, Miss Trina Nelson, you want to make sure that you're asking on Facebook Live right now. Or you can also hashtag ATB or All Things Beauty on Instagram, and we can make sure that we we get those questions answered by Miss Trina. So today in studio, I have my friend, my girl, Miss Trina. Hey, love. Hello. How are you? I'm oh, doing yes. great. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> Right, I haven't seen you in forever. It feels like it's been forever. Like it's been forever. Some years, probably like what three years? Yeah, maybe? yeah, yeah. But you look fabulous as ever, Thank glowing. You. Y'all, she don't even have on any makeup, and this glow. Let me just tell you, okay? <laughs> if she could bottle it and sell it, she would be a millionaire. You oh might already gosh. be. I'm not trying to speak on that. <laughs> um, but today we're actually going to be talking about all things hair. The name of her business, and we're going to get into kind of her history and her background a little bit uh, later. But the name of her business is New Look Hair Studio, and so we're always going to be talking about the new looks and bringing you the best and baddest in fashion and beauty um but as we usually start we usually talk about what's on our lips so today i'm just rocking a red y'all know how i do um but what kind of lip colors do you usually like to wear um i love reds because okay. reds make your teeth look so beautiful right so i love reds i love nudes and sometimes maybe something in the purple family yeah. uh-huh, you know depending uh-huh. on the season but yep Naturally, nudes are my all year round. You know, you yeah, can't go wrong with point. a good nude. You know, I've noticed what you said about reds. I've noticed that the blue based reds do that for you. They make your smile just so much brighter. Mm-hmm. But when it comes to like those orange based reds or like those warm ones, those actually have the adverse effect because they just complement like the yellowish tone in some people's smile. Mm-hmm. So that's a good point, ladies. The one you, you have on today is like thank fabulous. you. And yeah. this is just Sephora Always Red with a more plum liner. So, ladies, if y'all are interested in more blue based red, that Sephora Always Red is always red. And it works for you, right? Cool. So, Miss Trina, yes, just ma'am. to jump into it and give the the viewers a little background about yourself and your business. How did you formulate the name New Look? New Look started. <laughs> it's funny. My mother and my grandmother they opened a salon together wow. years ago as I was a child, uh-huh. and the name of it was New Look Beauty Salon. Really? And so, um, my mother actually who 
is still doing hair and she's going to be 73 next week. What? Yes. And um, my mother and my grandma, when their salon closed, they no longer have that name. Mm. So when I opened up, I just decided to carry, you know, the new yeah. look brand for my family. It's like your generational, yeah. like, you know, contribution, mm-hmm. you know, because your mother and your grandmother. Now, your mother is about to be 73 years old. She is. And she's still doing hair? She's still doing hair, and she's actually on her way home from Atlanta from the hair show. What? (laughs) Yes. I love it. AJ, nothing but a number. So (laughs) how is she able to stand all day? Because as a hairstylist, you have to stand on your feet. She does. My mom is a very holistic person. She's into, you know, juicing and vegetables. I mean, in my lifetime, I probably have known her to have maybe... I can count on both hands how many times she's had a cold. Wow. So she's really into taking care of herself Mm -hmm. and, you know. Is she active? Oh, yeah. She exercises every day. I mean, she's amazing. (laughs) I love it. She is. Does she have a partner or is she solo? No. Um, Well, my dad passed away. And so she's just like doing her little, her 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 dog. Living her best life. (laughs) She is at 73. Wow. Mm -hmm. Now, do you think if ever it comes to the point where she decides to retire, do you think she'll move to Houston? She will not. Um, I really think because where we're from Mm -hmm. is a really retired community. And she's been there forever. Yeah. So, yeah. So she's probably comfortable there. I've been wanting her to retire for a while, <laughs> but she's like, she loves it that much. Wow. So, yeah. Now, that's a, that's a testament to ladies. If you decide to do what you love, you love what you do, and you could be like Miss Trina's mom and rocking at 73 and still doing the thing. Because it doesn't <laughs> sound like she's slowing down oh, anytime she's not. soon. She's no not. <laughs> wow. So with your grandmother and your mother being hairstylists and hair professionals, did you always see yourself going into that field? I started doing hair when I was young. Uh I mean, my mom would give me mannequins and I would, you know, style them. When she got done doing whatever she was going to do, I would style them, cut them. So I was introduced to it at such an early age. Uh I mean, my sister and I both started off just being like shampoo girls. So we would shampoo and blow dry, um, things like that. But I learned, I loved it at such a young age. Mm -hmm. But... I didn't want to go to school and get the license Uh back then. I just wanted to help my mom. Yeah. (laughs) And so I actually didn't even get the license until I moved to Texas. Really? So does your sister do hair as well? She does. Stop it. Yeah. Is she in Houston? She's in Little Rock. Okay. So (laughs) that is awesome. So when you go home, do you have like like numerous amounts of family members who can do your hair? Because sometimes as your as an own hairstylist, do you do your (laughs) own hair? Do you get others to do your hair? I get others to do my hair. Uh When I go home, I'm always still doing hair. Wow. Yeah. I normally work when I go. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Mm -hmm. So how long have you been officially in business with New Look Hair Studio? I've been officially November will make four years exactly November first. However, I probably started all together about when I was maybe 11. What? From braiding and just working oh in the salon. Oh, my goodness. It is in your blood. Yeah. Like, this is what you were born to do. Yes. Now, do you see yourself like your mom in the future, like, going until you're in your 70s and, like, doing a thing? Uh, I probably will will <laughs> move <laughs> towards maybe teaching uh-huh. or something like that. Mm-hmm. I don't see myself. My mom loves behind the chair. Oh, okay. You know, so um, different aspects of the industry mm-hmm. we, you know, we both love. Yeah. But no, I probably want to be somewhere on the islands. <laughs> I feel you. But my you. mom really, really loves it. Loves so, it. yeah, I definitely will. I mean, even now I go back, I give back my time. I'll go to cosmetology schools yeah. like on Mondays if I'm closed and I'll teach and things like that. So I'll, I that's something it. more that I would want to do. Mm-hmm. Now, a lot of times women will ask, especially those who are trying to get into the beauty industry hair makeup or any other styling is another big one they will ask for a mentor do you have any mentors are you currently mentoring people other hairstylists no i'm not but um i did start offering just recently one-on-one courses so for you know students who are coming out and they need help with You know, a lot of times you want that intimate Mm -hmm. help where somebody can group settings are good, Mm -hmm. but it's different when it's more personable and, you know, hands on. So definitely. Mm -hmm. Now, do you what do you consider to be your specialty in hair? Because I've seen Miss Trina's work. Let me just say. And all of it, everything she does and everything she touches is phenomenal. But what do you think is your favorite thing to do, maybe or your Um, best? I love natural hair. Okay. 
Um, natural hair, you get the best of both worlds. Mm-hmm. So whether you want it to look like it's relaxed, oh. but it's not relaxed, you still get the yeah. you know the silky, nice, flowy hair. Uh-huh. Um, so for me, I love when I get those first timers that mm-hmm. have never had a silk press or a silk mm-hmm. blowout, and they're like, "Wow!" You mm-hmm. know, they never they never do. Yeah. <laughs> so that's my I would say my favorite. I love it all, mm-hmm. but. Mm -hmm. I love those especially. I love that. Now, let me just tell y'all a little backstory about Miss Trina. So I met her a few years ago. Uh, We were doing a wedding together. She was doing hair for the bride. I was doing makeup for the bride. And I was so in love with her professionalism, her timeliness, um, and obviously her work that I had to keep in touch with her. So tell me a little bit about your professionalism. Is it Maybe you saw your mom and your grandmother in action, so that's how you became the consummate professional. But... I've I've seen some other hairstylists and they haven't been <laughs> as professional as you have been. And maybe for you, you don't even realize it, that you are this top notch professional. But what is it about your brand that you're like, I'm going to present it in excellence? What is the, where did that come from? Um, I think excellence is something that comes from within, mm. you know, and my motto is like uh, new hair, new look, new you. Mm. And so sometimes you don't you you haven't even opened your mouth but people see you and yeah. they're like wow she looks so beautiful she you know her yeah. walk is mm-hmm, they mm-hmm. pay attention to how you are versus yes. the words that you say mm-hmm. and so that is just something that i've lived by yeah. um a lot of it especially you, who you are as a person brings on the type of clientele that you want wow. you know so that That's interesting you say yeah, that mm-hmm. that in essence makes me you know mm-hmm. cuz i feel like people will when they come and sit in my chair, they're just like, I mean, it's a fun environment, yes. but it's also a classy environment mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you're going to look and you're going to be a new you when you leave, you know? Absolutely. So getting a new you and a new look. <laughs> Hello. I love it. Well, speaking of excellence, this episode is sponsored by True Digital. You're online right now and so are your customers. The question is, how do you actively reach them? Marketing has to be a consistent journey, and we're here to walk you through every step of the way. True Digital Media Consulting can help with website development, online ads, your business reputation, and organic growth on search engines. Please give us a call today to to discuss your customized strategy for business at 832-934-4436. Or send us an email at info at truedigitalmediaconsulting.com. Mention the sphere, and you will receive a free 30-minute strategy consultation. Thanks, y'all. Awesome. So you just said something that was pretty profound about um, attracting the clients that that you deserve, that you want. Mm-hmm. Oftentimes, so I don't know if you've been experiencing this in the hair ro- world, but in the beauty industry, more specifically the makeup world, there is a lot or there are a lot of makeup artists who are doing like $40 faces, who are doing, you know, do one, get one free for $30. <laughs> just, But they're also cheapening the artistry as a result. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not speaking about their level of artistry, but just they're not charging what you should be charging as a professional if you call yourself and you brand yourself as a professional. Exactly. And so I've noticed as a result some other makeup artists, especially in certain areas, like, um, for instance, I'm part of a makeup um, mogul group on Facebook. hmm and a young lady was explaining that she lives in a pretty small town in, in Alabama. And she's like, people ain't paying $75 for one makeup application. But considering the brand um, of makeup that is in her kit, you know, Marc Jacobs, Chanel, she's like, I need to charge that because I'm investing in really quality products. Exactly. So my question is for you. Have you, like, what would be your advice to other hairstylists who may be also doing the same thing that makeup artists are doing? Like, cheapening the artistry by keeping their price is so 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 low one thing I have learned is that the ones who want to pay for quality Mm -hmm. they're going to come and the ones who don't they're not going to come true a lot of times I get these random texts throughout the day or Mm -hmm. the night and Mm -hmm. then they want to text back and forth for yeah paragraphs and then I always feel like those who really want quality they're going to go online Mm -hmm. they're going to you know, mm-hmm. upload their information and boom. Yeah. They schedule their appointment. Yes. Um, so what I've learned is that um, at one point it would seem like, oh, it, you might have a slow week. And so mm-hmm. you're thinking, like, it's okay if you want to run a special. Yeah. But never under, you know, mm-hmm. <laughs> don't ever under Cut pay your, yourself. Exactly. Yeah, because it's important that 
clients see i mean it's okay to give back mm-hmm. like you know the specials give them yeah you know, give back in the summertime or do free work for the start of the school year i see right. a lot of parents always do yeah but um quality is gonna always win mm-hmm. i feel like you mm-hmm. know and if you know that that is something that you offer mm-hmm. then you know not to shortchange yourself i totally agree i i was telling my mom about this because not that it's really impactful in houston being the fourth largest city in the u.s mm-hmm. But I feel like like my sister and my makeup sister in the in Alabama in the small town. It's it's hurting artists like that. Mm-hmm. And my mom said something that I thought was pretty cool. She was like, yeah, cheap may be a trend, but quality is what's going to last. Mm-hmm. Like, you're not looking at on the cover of Vogue. The Beyonce issue just came out yesterday. You're not seeing Beyonce on the cover of Vogue with a $30 hairstyle or exactly. a $20 makeup look. Like, exactly. that's just not what's going to last and not what's going to elevate your artistry exactly and so I thought that that was really profound I was also reading so on the thread that the makeup artist was commenting on or that she had posted some other people and some other makeup artists were giving her advice one suggestion though was that they speaking of mom is my mom calling mom if you're watching this live now I'm taping woman (laughs) <laughs> okay, so um, a lot of people were commenting on the thread talking about like, you know, one thing that they started doing, especially in Atlanta, a lot of the top tier makeup artists started banding together and saying, we're not going to charge less than $80 each. No mm-hmm. one. No one. Now, a lot of times it's a lot more expensive than that, usually 120 especially with travel, but not charging less than $80 so that everyone in the area who comes and seeks professional quality work mm-hmm. is going to have to pay just that minimum. And so as a result, you're helping each other and everybody right. eats everybody wins and so I thought that that was a pretty cool suggestion yeah that yeah. is definitely because a lot of times I mean, in this industry you know I mean people do makeup at home you got the makeup the kitchen beauticians mm-hmm. and then you have the the makeup artists who who like you said the $30 for a full yeah. face and things like that so and that is a really good point mm-hmm. that more professional license I mean I yeah. feel like You've gone to school. You've paid Thank for this. You. You've paid for this craft that you are, you know, continuously trying to excel and perfect. Absolutely. And at not so, not more so. Like when you're in school, you do you pay for so much training when you're out of school. Products here. Products, products go up. Every. I mean, okay. I'm telling you. Yeah. So people, the clients that I want are the ones who, you know, they know what I've done they see my work and so they know like oh you know what I really want to go they come to you because they really want to come to you and I remember you said something last time I I had been to your shop that was pretty profound at least to me I was asking um like do I need to come wash or like you know like what and you were like oh I just assume everyone you know who comes in needs to be washed needs to be treated exactly I've I've heard that several times like people will say because some (laughs) hell like the hood here's like girl come wash come blow dry like I just want to braid I'm like whoa what's happening so the fact that you were like no like you know everyone right. who comes is going to be treated you know with that's what you're paying excellent. for yeah you're paying for that nice scalp massage yes. when you get your hair shampooed yes. you know you're paying for great quality products yes. we're not using swab no. and, and whatever else you okay. know we're using professional products thank you so and that wowed me and y'all that has stuck with me for years i'm like and i don't really get my hair done frequently i just usually do it myself or just something like in a bun which she told me about because i started experiencing a lot of breakage around the bun area but that just was so profound to me and i was like you know what if more artists and more makeup artists or hairstylists started doing this and operating in this way with this level of excellence can you imagine what that would due to the industry or industries like talk about elevation Mm -hmm. Woo! (laughs) well also on the topic of elevation it's our time to elevate up off this platform so we're actually going to leave you all on facebook live i can't believe it's already been 15 minutes but we've been having fun i guess that's what happens when you have fun you know time flies so at this point our facebook live viewers we ask that you subscribe to our show on all available platforms including itunes soundcloud google play and stitcher Also, please review our show on iTunes with constructive feedback and share this Facebook Live post and the entire show with your family and friend network. In addition to that, if it's on your heart, please do donate to our mission to bring enriched and inspiring content each and every week. You can donate at www.thesphere.tv slash donate. All right. Well, we will see y'all next week. Tell the people bye, Miss Trina. Goodbye. Bye, y'all. Thank you. (laughs) Okay, so 
now we're actually going to transition into I wanted to talk to you about some hair growth strategies but I also wanted to talk to I have so much that I want to ask you but I also wanted to um, talk to you about some hair misconceptions I know that when we were talking about kind of like this show hair myths some hair do's and don'ts mm -hmm. so if you can share with the people share with me some hair do's and don'ts or some hair myths that you hear um Probably lately, the biggest hair myth yeah. is <coughs> <laughs> there's this chart that has been made up that oh, has categorized. Yes, yep. it has categorized. Teach if you us. Have four C, three C. Mm -hmm. You know who knows what. Yeah. So, <laughs> natural hair has been around since the beginning of time. Yes. Do you ever remember a category of a four C? Nope. Or 3C. Nope. So I get people that come in, they're like, oh, can you can you do something to my 4C hair? And I'm Aww. thinking, you're just natural. Yeah. But there there are different textures, mm -hmm. and, you know, mm -hmm. but, and someone's texture might be coarse. Yes. Someone's texture might be fine, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you know, but um, I wouldn't necessarily put my hair in a categorized number. Yeah. You know, that would be the m biggest myth. You just need to know whether your hair is coarse or fine mm -hmm. or if it's thick and density or if it's not yeah. you know I mean those are the healthy hair overall so yes. but the misconception you get the misconception that if somebody's on YouTube mm -hmm. and they have 4C and it looks like oh their hair looks like it might be close to mine mm -hmm. and they're advertising for all these products yeah. and then you go out and you buy all these products and it doesn't work for you <laughs> and it doesn't I've work. been there y'all <laughs> and, and then you become a product junkie yeah. you know mm -hmm. so you know, that is so impactful, and I love your approach to that because I've been to some. And you know what? Let me first just start by saying healthy hair is beautiful. So mm -hmm. I've seen coarse hair that is natural and healthy. It's gorgeous. The soft, really, you know, um, um, not as kinky, I guess, hair is really beautiful when it's healthy. Mm -hmm. all, even thin hair, when it's healthy, it is beautiful when it's done. So all hair is beautiful, especially healthy hair types. But I have been or heard some other hairstylists talk about just all oh, her hair was so nappy. I'm charging her fifty dollars <laughs> extra because mm -hmm. that nappy hair. And I'm I like, had that today. this I is had your client. approach to. I had a client who what? she had gone to someone, and the lady asked her jokingly, but she was serious not to come back <gasps> because her hair was so wow. Thick. <laughs> and believe it or not, she she, she said it's been about. Mm, six years since she's been to a salon. I mean, that just <gasps> tormented her. Yes, know? yes. For for a professional stylist to say, your hair is too thick. She said the, mm -hmm. the stylist complained the entire time. <gasps> now, keep in mind, I have done Trina. so many versions of natural textured mm -hmm, hair mm -hmm. and when their hair gets silk pressed you don't know you don't, you don't know if they have a relaxer no. or not. Their no. hair is just silky smooth. Yeah. So... <laughs> I don't get it. Wow. <laughs> and imagine as a consumer, a client who doesn't go frequently mm -hmm. to get her hair done. And this is a treat, right? And as even as makeup artists, you need to understand that. That this is a service that you're providing. Mm -hmm. If a person is investing in you, your brand, your you know your expertise, mm -hmm. they don't expect to come and feel like they are being shamed. Exactly. That's the same. That's almost equivalent to someone with acne or acne marks like coming in, and the makeup artist is complaining the entire time about the person and their skin texture. We understand that there's an issue there, not an issue with hair. I'm just saying, like in the makeup realm, that can be kind of similar. They don't expect to be talked about and felt bad, made to feel bad about their experience. And so I think it's so important. So what was her response to this, to this stylist? She said she told her, I don't plan on it. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> but, good. you know, good. hair in general, not just natural hair, <sighs> if you love what you do, yeah. you're going to have, a, it takes a lot of patience. Yes. You know, each client is different. Each person needs that attention there you know as a stylist you know what when a client sits in your in your chair mm -hmm. you know what their hair needs yes. it's up to you yes. to educate them on what their hair needs so not only did the the stylist lose a client but the the client's hair was so badly damaged when she came today no because way she was so fearful of going to another salon oh my she goodness. actually had a friend text me in advance and send me pictures and say how much do you approximately how much and so I couldn't give her an exact but I yeah. gave her you know a ballpark yeah because she said she's been she's walked in and somebody would say oh let me feel your hair and then what? I'm gonna charge you this it was really thick Ooh. you know and so 
I mean, this industry can be so, yeah, you know, and when you love it, someone who likes me, who's yeah. very passionate about, because overall, I'd rather have a person with healthy hair mm-hmm. than just long hair or mm-hmm. hair that has split ends down yeah. to the, you know. Yeah. So, but she wasn't educated properly on what to do with her hair. She wow. had no idea about her hair needing deep conditioning treatments. She had no idea. Her hair was just, you know, so... Um, Needless to say, she was extremely happy when she left. Yes, I know she was. It took patience because her mm-hmm. hair was thick, but she was so patient, and she was such a nice lady. And I was thinking, wow, that other stylist really lost a, really a lost. quality yeah. client. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So. Now, I don't want to wait till the end to give out Miss Trina's contact information. I know you can see it on the screen and her name and her Instagram handle, but where can people reach you? How can they book an appointment with you? If you would like to reach me, yes. um, for one, my Instagram is new look underscore hair studio. Um, my work cell is 713-725-4740. Yes. Mm-hmm. Um, you can also find me on my website, www.newlookhairstudio.com. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. There you can schedule an appointment, see pricing. So also you can, if you don't want to text, you can just leave a message awesome. and reach me by there. Awesome. So when I first connected with you, you were on, um, I think, what's the name of that website that you book? Stacy. Stacy. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. So I now st- they can book directly through your website. Yes. That's awesome. Which is just it's it's um getting more you know more viewings for my website. But ah. Stacy, the Stacy link still works. Uh huh. But I also sell hair, so there's Ooh. a lot of things that are on my website that okay. you won't see on Stacy. So what? So give us the tea. So of course you sell hair. Is it um I don't know. Is it the weaving like weft hair mm-hmm. or is it okay it's okay weft bundle hair for so is sew-ins. there certain textures like Indian um, or? I sell everything so wow uh huh um, you can also if you would like raw hair oh. which is single donor hair straight Ooh. from I have Indian and Cambodian hair okay um the difference between raw hair and virgin hair yes. is virgin hair is virgin hair but it comes from multiple donors. The ah. raw hair is going to be a single donor. The bundle is going to come from one single person. Wow. So so then the raw hair is probably more expensive. It is more expensive. Yeah. But it's higher quality. It's the absolute best quality. I mean, mm-hmm. and you'll have that hair for years. I, I bet. Yeah. So I was reading one time. Um, this was a long time ago. So I don't know if they've, um, you know, dealt with this issue. But they were saying with virgin hair, that is um, like some Indian women, for instance, will go to temples. And, and in their faith, it is seen as a sacrifice mm-hmm. to shave your hair in the temple Mm -hmm. and so some hair vendors were of you know obviously collecting that hair that's beautiful hair they grow it so long and then they donate or you know sacrifice it and so they were saying because it came from multiple donors some of the shafts like the hair shafts were going in like opposite directions directions Mm -hmm. and like all kind of stuff and it was still you know with the right stylist they could still work with it it wasn't Mm -hmm. you know just un unsavable but it was just something yeah it had so many different cuticles yes in it so that's Ah. it's still virgin it's still yeah. good hair mm-hmm. but it's just multiple so with raw is that your favorite to work with you would say in, exten- in um, extensions if you are an avid client who yeah. loves sewing i would say go with raw hair okay. because you're going to get the most wear out of it um however virgin hair it will last you you know for a good year yeah. for sure mm-hmm. um so if you're depending on what your budget is yeah. the good thing is that i have hair for every budget you yeah. know so Yes. Awesome. Is there anything else that we want to make sure that people know about your website so they can book uh, an appointment with you? Mm-hmm. They can see your hair um, and how to purchase that. Can mm-hmm. they see examples of your work? I'm sure. Yes. Everything that I upload from Instagram goes directly to my website. What? So if you don't have Instagram, you can yeah. still see my work. See, so. that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Professional, honey. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Awesome. So I know a lot of, um, I know now in like 2018, um, the wigs are really big, especially the wigs that are like the frontals and that you don't have to have hair out. Mm -hmm. Um, What's your opinion on those? I think that they're probably the best protective style wigs. Wigs are amazing. It's it's the ultimate versatility. Yeah. You know, you can switch up your hair however yes. many times you would like without actually coloring or damaging your hair. Okay. Whatever look you would like to have or try per se, you can do you can get that achieve that look without doing it to your own hair. Oh. In a wig, which is where you can take it on and off every yeah. day. You know, if you have a job where 
you work outdoors and you sweat a lot or, you know, you like to go to the gym a lot. I mean, being able to just remove that that wig, that Mm -hmm. custom wig Mm -hmm. is amazing, you know. Mm -hmm. So I would say wigs all the way. Yeah. So in a second, I want to ask you about this misconception or maybe it's a real conception about extensions being bad for the hair. Mm hmm. But at this time, we like to note that this portion of the show is sponsored by Elite Dental Wellness. At Elite Dental Wellness, our vision is to create a welcoming practice that will offer exceptional dental care and a lifetime of dental wellness. We are committed to being the finest and the most professional in oral care wellness and overall health and well-being of patients. Elite Dental Wellness is built upon a foundation of integrity, expertise, and service. Through our commitment to modern, modern dentistry, continuing education, and a friendly atmosphere, We strive to make our patients feel like they are part of our family. Dentistry can be scary, daunting, and uncomfortable, but Dr. Baptiste and her team work tirelessly to ensure your comfort. Make your appointment today with Dr. Ashandra Baptiste at EliteDentalWellness.com or you can contact 713-789-8680. Thank you, Dr. Baptiste. Also, she's also a co-host on our another network show called The Docs. So make sure you see her. They actually tape or film on Mondays around 7 p.m. So make sure you're checking out Facebook Live. Or you can wait for any of the um, whole episode uploads on any of our platforms. So shout out to Dr. Baptiste. And also Dr. Simone Ellis, who is her co-host there. So... A lot of people will say, I've been hearing this a lot, um, extensions are so bad for your hair, weaving is so bad for your hair. I've heard a lot of women who have alopecia, traction alopecia, talk about the constant weaving and um, how that's worsened their condition. Mm -hmm. What are your your thoughts on that? Okay. My personal thoughts on someone with alopecia or traction alopecia would be, firstly, not to get a weave. Really? Because um, I would recommend a wig. Ah. Because a lot of times when clients have traction alopecia or any type of scalp condition, yeah. if they're getting treatments, then you cannot treat the scalp properly while it's, you know, yeah. sewn up. Mm-hmm. You just can't get mm-hmm. to it. Mm-hmm. So wigs are always, you know, yeah. in, that cl- in that case, I would say do a wig. Really? Because sewing is going to, you're correct, sewing is going to pull more tension on oh. those areas, which is not healthy for that mm-hmm. client. However, for someone who has healthy hair and they get a sew-in mm-hmm. or any type of extensions, as long as their hair is healthy, the sew-in does not damage your hair. Okay. If there is a stylist who doesn't know how to properly install it, yeah. that will damage your hair. Ah. You know, proper braid braid patterns, proper stitching, yeah. knowing to, you don't want to have your braids extremely tight. And then mm. on top of that, come back in your stitching, which is reinforcing the braid. Mm-hmm. I mean, the client's going to leave with a headache that's why that yep. is not what you know what and sewing. people say that you know i grew up with a i guess now misconception oh the tighter the braids are the longer uh-huh. they last uh-huh. and so you just got to suffer through the pain exactly that's and so you incorrect. get a little bumps on the side <laughs> yes. a little hair tight it's incorrect yeah i haven't had braids since i was eight y'all because of that <laughs> you know <laughs> but there's a way to do it in a exactly. different way mm-hmm. that is healthier Yep. And they can still last, of course. Now, how long would you um, suggest that a woman keeps in a full sew-in? I would say, in my opinion, yeah. no longer than eight to ten weeks. Oh, I would keep it at eight because mostly, most of the time, your hair trims are normally six to eight weeks. Yep. Um, so I kind of tell my clients to keep up with when they need their trims. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. every time they take down their sew-ins, we're doing trims or deep oh, conditioning, okay. you know, dish, deep conditioning treatments yeah. for the hair. So mm-hmm. that kind of keeps them on track versus, I mean, some people will keep their sew-ins three, four months. That's, you know. Doesn't the hair, especially if they're natural, your hair right. start to lock. Right. Like. Your, hair needs, your hair needs to be taken care yeah. of underneath the weave. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. unfortunately, there are a lot of stylists who don't specialize in natural hair. Mm. So they are just weavists, uh-huh. which, you go, I mean, they can do amazing weaves. Yeah. But your hair underneath suffers, which is I've why I yep. decided to be a natural hair care specialist yes. as long as, I mean, as well as doing weaves because yeah. both of them go hand in hand. Now, do you also do these wigs that we're talking about? Like mm-hmm. the people, okay, so yes. you can do those frontal wigs things that mm-hmm. people are talking about? Mm-hmm. Really? I make custom wigs. Wow. Yeah. 
Okay. How long is the turnaround? Does someone need to bring you here and expect a month wait or oh, what? Oh, no. If you bring... <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> if you bring here, my typical turnaround is about five to seven business days. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's good. See, she's on it. Once again, professional. I cannot <laughs> overstate that enough. Just to let y'all know. Um, so I've heard of this term. Uh, so I'm originally from Oakland, California. Mm-hmm. And shout out to the blacks in the Bay and Auntie Sherry and Uncle Eddie. Um, <laughs> but I want to make sure that um, we're, we're clear because once I moved to the South, I heard this term oh this stylist has growing hands have mm-hmm. you heard that before i have what does that even mean i wanted to act like i knew but i don't know what does growing hands mean growing hands is just a term that you know how to do hair and you know how to do hair well uh, as long as your okay, hair okay. is i mean if for me if you mm-hmm. come and your hair is really short mm-hmm. and we and i suggest that we start doing weaves yeah then when we in a year's time, yeah. once we track your growth, your hair should be growing. Yeah, it should not be breaking. It should not mm-hmm. be the same length as when we initially installed. Yeah. you know your first sew in. Mm. So it's all about being a hair care specialist. Yep. And if you care for the hair, then it's going to grow. Yeah. You know. But I think sometimes people get lost in, and I see this a lot with um, with with makeup. They'll present a picture, and it will have like um, a, a model or a client of a different skin tone, and say, "I want this look." Mm-hmm. But sometimes what they fail to realize is that it's going to look differently on you. Mm-hmm. So sometimes I'm sure when people bring you a picture, "I want this look with their natural I get hair," that all the time. <laughs> and it's like you may not have the length, you may not have the um, the thickness, you may not have the density, as you said, mm-hmm. you may not have that in order to replicate this exactly. But mm-hmm. we can we can work with you exactly. how do you help manage those clients expectations because <laughs> i find that hard i'm like sis look um this is a whole different ball game than what you're experiencing exactly. um once i do the con- consultations are really important ah okay so once you yep. do the consultation you know that is when you are really intimate with that client yeah and you can ask them their ideas on what exactly what they're trying to achieve yep. because they have to know that they're not going to wake up and look like, you know, Beyonce yes, or yes, Gabrielle yes. Union. But we can get you as close as possible. But ultimately, you have to know that you're going to be wearing this mm-hmm, and you mm-hmm. have to be OK wearing this. Yep. So um, once we kind of talk about that, then as far as where we go, where we end up, they trust me to know, like, you know what? I trust you. So, uh, okay. you know, because mm-hmm. I don't want you leaving out looking crazy. Mm-hmm. Um, that's also another reason why. When I get clients who call me and they may have hair that was installed or yeah. a wig that was done by someone else, yeah. I typically don't work behind others' work ah. because, you know, it. you run into so many variations of issues that I don't want to, you know, bring yeah. on for myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That makes sense. Mm-hmm. That makes a lot of sense. Okay. Um, hold that thought. I want to come back and ask you something else about wigs. But at this time, we're going to note that this portion of the show is actually sponsored by The Sphere. Are you advertising and starting your business and looking for a place to really help catapult your platform? Well, you can do that and all other things with The Sphere. Do you have a need to reach out to thousands of people across the world to build your brand or sell your product? Once again, if so, your product placement and advertising needs can be handled right here at The Sphere. We offer a wide variety of content delivery packages, including iTunes, Google Play, SoundCloud, YouTube, and Stitcher. Plus, we have a vast demographic reach within the United States, as well as uh, modern countries across the globe. Our enriched content packages and inspiring dialogue coupled with your strategic ad is surely to hit the mark every single time. You can call us today at area code 832-772-7789 or send an email over to advertise at thesphere.tv. Okay. So about wigs, this whole, the frontal bit. So the frontal and, uh, and uh, it's another word I've heard, a frontal. Lace closure. Thank you. Mm-hmm. What is the difference between these two? It is just a, a wider area for you to part the hair. A, okay. A lace closure is going to be most times a four by four or uh-huh. possibly a five by five. Okay. Um, so a lot of times you only have one part. Yeah. Whereas the frontal goes from ear to ear. Ah. And um, most of the times they come in 13 by 4 oh. or 13 by 6. Yeah. So 13 by 6 is going to give you, I mean, you can part it anywhere. Yeah. You know? A lot of people okay. like it because it's, it's really natural looking. Yeah. 
Now, if you are making wigs, is there an option to do either like on full time, like you put it on and it stays on, or can they can the client take it off every evening? Mm-hmm. They can have it sewn down if they sewn want. Sewn down, thank you. Um, or you know, of course, take I do the on. custom measurements. So okay. if they want to take it off, they can take yeah. it off every. Because that has to be so convenient. It is. It's really convenient. Take it on, and I'm sure you know it lasts probably you know longer, and it's just yeah versus sleeping in it and trying to mm-hmm. like maintain it and all of that. Yes. So one thing that I've I've recently heard is that your nutrition, how you're um, intaking water and and everything, um, water intake, food intake, certain foods can help your hair become healthier or grow. Mm-hmm. In addition to like supplements like biotin and things like that. Mm-hmm. But then I've also heard that everyone is born with their genetic makeup mm-hmm. and that women or people in general have terminal length so that your hair genetically isn't programmed to grow longer than a certain length. That's true. So and both are true. Mm-hmm. Right. You can everyone has their own growth st- Hair has its, yeah. you know, you have your own growth stage. Just yeah. say you and I, we start on our natural journey at the mm-hmm. same time. And in a year's time, we track our growth and your hair is longer than mine. Yeah. You know, so the growth stage for my hair, everyone's genetic growth stage is different. So okay. that is definitely true what you're saying. So how can a woman maximize her length if she's genetically programmed to have, you know, neck length hair? Um, That's where I take them back to healthy hair yeah. versus ne- necessarily long hair yeah. everybody just wants long hair yep. but everybody's not going to have long mm-hmm. hair um but having healthy hair is most important yes so nutrition is so important um taking a hair skin and nail always helps mm. but you have to realize that what you eat has to come out mm. so it's going to come out in your skin it's yeah. going to come out in your hair yeah you know if you're eating junk mm-hmm. all the time if that is what you then Consume. you're going to see it in your yep. skin and yep. your hair yeah you know so what do you suggest women eat or women or people in general who are trying to grow their hair not trying to be um, binary here but what do you suggest people eat in order to help to maximize the growth i would say fresh fruits a lot of fresh fruits and vegetables mm. always helps so juicing like mom mm-hmm. <laughs> juicing always helps yeah or there are a lot of things you can buy from whole foods um where if you don't want to juice they have the scoops of Supplements. green powder that yeah. you can add into any yep. you know any of your favorite juices yeah. to add to your diet mm-hmm. what i love about that green powder at gnc i get mine from h-e-b is that mm-hmm. it's concentrated mm-hmm. so there's a lot of fiber and other really good things but you're getting the most potent pack full you know impactful mm-hmm. kind of kale spinach, yeah, yeah yeah all that mm-hmm. um all in one little scoop and so you usually get your daily serving it says daily servings but you know it doesn't hurt to eat more but you know it's really interesting that they can really concentrate it into that one scoop so mm-hmm. that may be a really easy fix for a lot of you out there wondering that Absolutely. Is there anything else that you wanted to make sure that the viewers understood about New Look, about your stance and your philosophy on hair? Um, I want each and every client to know that they all will be treated like quality when they come Absolutely. in. Absolutely. I you can know, reg- <laughs> put a pin in that one second because... I, I told y'all before that I had been to visit Miss Trina. I would go definitely more frequently if I did hair, like, you know. But I don't know anything about hair. Just makeup is my, my ministry. But I'm telling you, when you go and see Miss Trina, it is truly an experience. And it is a very valued experience. You leave feeling good about yourself. You leave feeling good about your hair. You leave feeling taken care of. And once again, I've said this a numerous amount of times, but she's a true professional. And so if you're looking for a true professional who is wanting to take care of and is passionate about natural hair don't look any further you heard it here on the sphere (laughs) thank you yeah um but yeah each client is i mean i pride myself on giving them the best experience possible Mm -hmm. um and i didn't even realize for the longest that i had so many great reviews online Mm -hmm. you know which because i don't ever tell people to leave me reviews so it makes me feel good that people trust me Mm -hmm. and that is something knowing that you don't want to let clients down yes you know so just come see for yourself that's beautiful <laughs> and i'm not sure if this is capturing or not on on film but she has such a beautiful spirit and just calm reassuring energy and so it's it's just a good experience overall oh, thank you now i do want to ask it just thought made me think about something energy wise i was going to a makeup uh, training class you know trying to advance artistry as always but i um one of the makeup artists who was leading the course was talking about like sometimes a, a, a client will come in your chair have really bad attitude or maybe they've had a bad day or whatever is going on 
and your tools you're touching them is an energy exchange mm-hmm. and so you want to be careful you know not only the clients that you allow in your presence but also just the whole experience have you ever had a client who was like really angry or just didn't oh, yes really how do you handle that because you have such a calm reassuring energy I'm very calm yeah and I actually have only Since I've been open for almost four years, I've only had one client Mm -hmm. who was like that. And I think she wanted to be my only client. What? So so she would come in and her energy would be bad. I mean, she... It would be a, a room full of yeah, clients. clients. She wouldn't speak you're to working anyone. hairstylist. <laughs> she wouldn't speak. <gasps> she was always complaining. It was just from the beginning to when she left, it was just bad energy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And, you know, after about three years, I had to, because this was last year, I had to finally just tell her and everyone that knows me, like you said, yeah. I'm very calm yes. and I'm very just, I'm down to earth. I'm funny. Yeah. I mean, like we have a good time. And her energy was really weighing on my spirit. And I just, I couldn't because, for one, I knew that um, me letting her go, God would, re- God would replace her Definitely. with double my Definitely. trouble. And I had to just sit her down and let her know. And I knew, I tried to say things as best as I yeah. could. Um but she didn't take a while because she didn't understand that that's really. So that's, she didn't even see that. No. After that, oh, after years. She, she was never happy for that. anybody. She was never wow. happy if I had new clients. She was never happy if she couldn't get her 8 o'clock spot. But instead of booking the spot, she would wait and somebody else would book it. And then, yeah. she, you know, so there's a lot of things that. For one, as a stylist, mm. you have to make sure that your heart is right. Yeah. And that yeah. your aura is right yes, you know absolutely um, because other people feel that absolutely. and so once I I had to just give her away yeah. and then I felt relieved so did you recommend her to another stylist or did you just say I, no yeah. I just parted ways okay. um yeah I felt like it was best yeah um and that's so probably putting that something. off on someone else <laughs> <laughs> like here girl I got a clap for you you know yeah. because well I didn't necessarily push her out of the door mm-hmm. but I wanted her to know that this the area where she comes in is yeah. my area yes. and she has to adapt yes. <laughs> you know accordingly because mm-hmm. other people pick up pick that up mm-hmm. and then you know so yeah. I always want it to be pleasant for anyone who's yeah. in there absolutely so. and once again that means so much yeah yeah y'all it's only one Trina Nelson. I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad she's in Houston. So once again, please give uh, the people your handles on social media. And once again, your website information. My Instagram is new look underscore hair studio. Inst- um, that's my Instagram. Uh, my website is www. What is it? <laughs> new, new look, look. hair studio. Dot com. Yes. <laughs> um, my Work is 713-725-4740. Mm-hmm. And what else do I need? That's good. Uh, Facebook is just New Look Hair Studio. And like I said, you guys can leave messages. I mean, there's so many ways to reach me. I'm always, always available. If I don't text you right back, if you text, just know that I will text you back. Yeah. Um, a lot of times my hands are doing multiple Occupy, things. So yeah. please be patient, but I will get back to you. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And thank you. And that definitely is for those who of you who are listening and can't see this bo- broadcast. We wanted to make sure that that was clear for you all to check out and to reach Miss Trina. Um, so at this time, it's the end of our show. It's been such a riveting last 45 minutes. And of always, oh, of course, excuse me. Um, and as always, we do thank you for viewing with us and for taking the time out of your day evening, morning, whatever, to join with us and talk about all things beauty. So at this time, we're going to say thank you again, and we'll see you next week. Thank you for having me. Bye, Bye, (laughs) y'all.